So, we are discussing solution of linear inequations with two variables. So, already we studied first example in part 1. So, let's discuss second example. So, I am considering this inequality 4x plus 3y greater than or equal to 12. Convert this into equality first. 4x plus 3y equal to 12. Which is nothing but the equation of line. How to draw a line on a graph? It requires two points. So, to find a point on x-axis, put y equal to 0. If you substitute y equal to 0 in this equation, this gives 4x equal to 12. Means, x equal to 3. So, for y equal to 0, x is 3. So, the point on x-axis is 3 comma 0. Now, to find a second point, Let's put x equal to 0. Why x equal to 0? If you want to find a point on y axis, so obviously x becomes 0. So I am substituting x equal to 0 in this equality. This leads to 3y is equal to 12. So y is equal to 4. Means for x equal to 0, y value is 4. Therefore, point on y axis is 0, 4. Here we got two points to draw a line. Now let's draw a line on the So let's plot these two points on this graph. So this is a point on x-axis, 3, 0, somewhere here. So it's a point A. So this is a point 0, 4 on y-axis. Mark it as point B somewhere on y-axis. Now, let's draw a line passing through these two points. So, this is the line which passes through these two points. Uh, let's write its equation. 4x plus 3y equal to 12. Now, as we discussed earlier, if you draw a line in a plane, it divides that plane or coordinate system into two parts. Origin side and non-origin side. So, it divides the plane into two parts, which is very important, origin side and non-origin side. So, who will help you to find the solution set? Obviously, the origin. So, let's find the solution set of this inequality. So, what is the meaning of solution set? It is the region which satisfies this inequality. So, let's discuss this inequality now. We already discussed the equality. Now let's discuss inequality. Inequality is 4x plus 3y greater than 12. Now I am taking help of this origin. For this origin, let's cross check whether the origin satisfies this inequality or not. So I am substituting this origin in this inequality. So 4 into 0, 3 into 0 greater than 12. So if you saw this, it's a 0 greater than 12. Is it valid? No, it is invalid. Means, means this origin is not satisfying this inequality. Another point is, this origin is not a part of this inequality. Or origin side is not satisfying this inequality. So, this is the origin side, which is invalid, means the solution set lies on this side. So, this is the solution set. So, this is the solution set.